I'm just here today to film a quick video um, if you've got some tight hips or just a way that you can use to stretch your hips out. It's called the couch stretch. Some of you guys might be familiar with it, some of you not. So I'm just going to walk you through exactly how to go out the proper way to do it and just stretch out these hips a little bit too. So first off, they call it the couch stretch because you can use this couch. If you don't got a good couch you can use, you can always post up against the wall um, and put maybe a cushion below your knee. But I have a carpet here, so I won't need um, any cushion for my knee. So ideally what we're going to do is we're going to get down into kind of a lunge formation with our leg down onto the ground. The farther that we move this knee back to the couch, the more stretch we're going to get. Okay, but that's not essentially the goal. What we want to be able to do is maintain this position without trying to arc the back too much with a flat back and be able to breathe into the position. So a lot of times what we see, which is the improper way to do the stretch, is people get right as far back as they can do, and then they crank their back, and then they're just all in funny positions, and they're not you know, utilizing their chain the best. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a little bit easier, right back off of it a little bit too. Throughout this whole movement, you should be able to take big deep breaths into your lung and you should be able to tighten your butt, right? The cool key here is it squeeze your butt and then the feel the stretch on the front part of your hips. So ideally what we can do, there's gonna be two options. You can put your hand on the ground and then we can walk back until we kind of start walking up until we feel that good stretch in there too. We all might not be able to get up into an upright position with keeping our back flexed. This might be a little bit too tight for us. So there's two things you can do. You can back off away from the couch to get a little bit less of a stretch in that hip too. And then we'll just come up here, find, you still wanna be able to squeeze the butt, take deep breaths in and stand up tall. And you should feel a nice stretch in the hip here too. You might wanna hang out in there for about 20 to 30 seconds, letting all the, the tendons, everything adapt to that too. And then once you're there, you might slowly start backing it up until we get to that position too. A lot of times what people will do is they're just focusing too on this back foot, how close they can get on the couch. But to be able to get, right, we're looking for extension here in the hip, but we're also looking for flexion here in the hip. It's almost like you're doing the splits if you wanna get into a full, uh, the full part. So maybe rather than scooting our foot back, what we're actually gonna do is raise this foot up with something. So let me grab a box real quick. So for example, you can use something higher, but we're gonna use a box. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that box down. So right, everybody wants to walk the foot down, but now we're gonna do is elevate this foot up. So now we're gonna get more flexion in the hip here and more extension in the hip here. And now we can stand up right without having to walk our foot farther back to get that stretch. Same thing, we should be able to squeeze the butt cheek, take a deep beat big deep breath in and out and be comfortable in this position. We shouldn't feel like our lower back or upper back is straining. Same thing, we'll wanna hang on this position about 20 or 30 seconds to let our body get used to it. We can also do now, is start moving around. Try to find those corners and gaps where you might feel a little bit tight, right? So if you start rotating around here and drop forward and you start, ooh, I feel a little bit tight there, hang out in that position, right? We're trying to find the areas where our body's compromised. If we can sit up in this all day long, don't worry about it. Now we need to advance that to go to our body too. So once we start getting used to here, there's two options we can still do. It's you want to back that knee all the way off and get that good stretch here. Right about here, I start feeling a big stretch in here. And if I go any more prop upright, I'm going to start flexing that back. So I'm going to hang out here too. You might start feeling that other leg a little bit because it's having to hold you up. So what you want to do is take something, block your hand. So now I can rest on this block right here and I'm not so much focusing on trying to keep my upright, but now I can slowly move up into it until I start feeling that stretch here. Once again, I still got activation in my glute. I can still squeeze that butt. I can still take deep breaths without being compromised. And once again, I'm just gonna hang out here. And then from this position, right, I might turn to the left, to the right, drop down a little bit into this position and just find those areas where I might feel a little bit more kinked up. So once again, just a couch stretch. We're gonna walk through it one more time, just a real quick recap. So you wanna find this couch, put that foot down. Don't go right in to see if you can stand all the way tall because we don't want that back to be bent. We should be able to keep a neutral back, start bending up, have access to that glute, being able to squeeze it and tighten it, and feel the stretch in those hips. All right guys, if you need anything else that you wanna know how to stretch um, for posture or just good form, message me and let me know. Try this out.